Ön több mint 30 éve segíti a Hungarian Human Rights Foundation alapítványt, a Magyar Emberi Jogi Alapítványt. Mai napig ez a kapcsolat élő kapcsolatnak nevezhető önök között. The Hungarian Human Rights Foundation is a remarkably positive and productive and valuable institution. For decades, during the period when Hungarian minorities were brutally suppressed in the neighboring countries, the foundation played a pivotal role in assisting Hungarian. It was my pleasure and privilege to work with them. Sajnos 1990-ben nem szűnt meg az ő munkájuk. Azzal, hogy rendszerváltás történt Közép-Kelet-Európában, nem oldódott meg a magyar kisebbségek kérdése. Hát ön is most tanulja a szlovákiai Malina Hedvig sorsának. Egy levélváltás is volt a szlovák miniszterelnök és ön között. Well, it would be naive to expect that after centuries of bitterness and hatred and hostility with the collapse of the Soviet Union, there would suddenly be peace and harmony and openness and understanding among the various nationalities in Central Europe and in the Balkans. So I have to agree with you. Uh, those who expected uh, Nirvana to arrive, it hasn't. And it will take continued vigilance on the part of those of us who are passionately committed to human rights to protect the rights of Hungarian minorities. A Benes dekrétumoknak az újra megerősítése. Mit gondol erről? Hogyan lehetséges ez a 21. században? The civilized world is unanimous in rejecting this outrageous action. This is the quintessential document establishing the fiction of collective guilt. There is no collective guilt. Individuals must be judged on the basis of their own actions. And the Benesh document uh, was the exact opposite of that. And I think uh, the United States, Western Europe, all civilized countries are appalled by this move. Miután Szlovákiában az ott élő zsidóságnak több mint 80 százalékát kiirtották, a Benes dekrétumokat úgy hozták meg, hogy ez nem csak a magyarokra és a németekre vonatkozott, hanem a magyar és a német származású megmaradt zsidóságra is. Ez neki kétszeres nehézséget okozott. Tud ön erről? Yes, I, I do know this, and this only underscores the outrageous nature of these regulations. Mit szólt ön a Fico miniszterelnök válaszához? Not much, not much. I didn't expect much from, uh, from him, and I didn't get much from him. Uh, I, I think it's sort of important to realize that in this transitional period, which may last another few years, there will be serious problems in many of these countries. Hungary is not immune from these problems. Uh, the establishment of this uh, uh, paramilitary organization, the Hungarian Guard, which I denounced at my press conference in Hungary, and I will see to it that no member of that Guard will receive a visa to the United States. Uh, that might teach them a lesson, is an indication that the problem is not restricted to Slovakia or Romania. It is present in the region, and uh, it will take a long time for this whole set of countries to develop into full-fledged democracies. Ön az egyik legfontosabb pozícióba lévő magyar származású ember. Sokan számítanak önre a Kárpát-medencében. Mit üzen nekik? Well, I have tremendous hope for the Carpathian Basin. I am passionately committed to the Carpathian Basin. I love my native country and my native language and literature and music and culture. And um, I have very high hopes for the development of this wonderful area into a full-fledged democratic region. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Nagyon szívesen.